This is a Crosspoint Sabers dueling lightsaber. It's a custom lightsaber that's configured as a stunt saber, so it lights up but doesn't have sound. And I couldn't locate a name for it. I think it's a custom, maybe one-off design. So I'm calling it Spirited Elegance because it is very spirited with um, kind of some of its coloring. It's it's very bright and vibrant coloring, but also it's elegant. It's it's somewhat basic, but designed for dueling. So let's take a bit of a closer look. Now you'll notice this very bright and vibrant blade. So this this is equipped with a tri-cree LED. It's a, a magenta LED, or it's, so it's kind of a darkish pink color. And you'll notice the slanted emitter at the top. And here you can kind of see the uh, thickness of the aluminum. So it's very thin, very lightweight, and the diameter of the hilt itself is about 1.25 inches, and then it accepts a one inch diameter blade. So um, you can kind of see that. Now the hilt is 10.25 inches long, I believe, 10.5 inches long rather. So it's, you know, it's somewhat short. It's also not totally, it's not like a Shoto link, uh, but it could be used as a one-handed, maybe a two-handed, but you know, if you have big hands, maybe more of a one-handed hilt. It's a very slim down design overall and a uniform diameter more or less throughout the hilt. Now we do have this grip section here, which is comprised of this kind of very thin uh, cord. It's sort of like a, a thin pink uh, paracord and that makes it easier to grip. And then uh, there is the blade retention screw here. And then at the very bottom, so the activation switch is actually located on the bottom of the hilt. And so that means it's tucked out of the way. So if you're dueling or kind of spinning this lightsaber around, there's no, there are no obstructions kind of where you're uh, gripping the hilt. So that's kind of a neat perk. And then we can access kind of the, the battery um, if we remove these screws on the bottom. So the screws kind of hold this in place. And I'll, I'll show you what the, the chassis and the battery look like. So we've got one screw on that side and one screw on the other side. And we want to be a little careful when we kind of slide this out. You'll see why in a second. So the, the screw holes on the outside actually align with some on the inside. And I'll just be kind of very careful when I slide this out. All right, so you can see some of the wiring here, and then this is the chassis. There we go. So it looks like it's maybe kind of a PVC pipe, and then that's how we can access the battery. There we go. But, um, you know, how this is configured it, these screws actually kind of um, help secure the chassis there. You can see where the screw hole is on the inside now. And that wiring uh, leads down to the activation switch. So I've just got a little bit of paracord at the end there. There, I kind of just slide that back, line up the, the holes for the screws. And then we should be good to go again. So, I mean, there's not a recharge port on this, so uh, you do have to remove, you know, the lower part of the hilt this way, but um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's very simple design, uh, very kind of, um, easy. I, I love how kind of uh, there are not protrusions on the outside and just the simplicity of the hilt. It's very light, very balanced in, in its feel and just kind of a joy to, to swing around actually. So, you know, if you're looking to, 
you know, spin a saber around, kind of a nice lightweight slim down saber. If you're looking to do some dueling, uh, this very comfortable hilt. And I know this company makes others that are somewhat similar to this too. And they do kind of cater to the Saber Legion. So, you know, Saber Legion is a, is a dueling organization. So um, anyway, uh, this is a fun hilt, you guys. It's a cross point sabers hilt that I have named Spirited Elegance. But yeah, it's just kind of a neat, slim down, dueling stunt saber. So here it is, and feel free to comment below.